and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Big Apple, William Edison. Mike, thank you, Diamond. I'm not a gotta comment on this show. I mean, I, I admire his confidence. I actually believe that he thinks he can make this comeback, even if he is a little bit delusional. Still wondering if Sting will answer Kurt Angle's challenge for a world's title rematch. Of course, Angle made that challenge under different circumstances. Circumstances that were pre the Nash Jackknife title bomb. And her opponent, residing in Tokyo, Japan. She stands six feet, one inches tall and weighs 272 and three eighths pounds. She is Musa. last week on Impact when Musa Kong quite simply destroyed Gail Kim. But Don West, it was a different show this past Sunday at Bound for Glory in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, when you get that replay, go to TNAWrestling.com to find out when it's there because it was incredible. But it took everybody in the ring at that time to get Awesome Kong out of there. And Gail Kim eventually became the first ever TNA World Champion. One thing about it, you mentioned last week on Impact when we saw what Awesome Kong did one-on-one -on -one to Gail Kim. And you watched her in that gauntlet and you saw it, you realized this is one of the most brutal women wrestlers in the history of this sport, Mike. Totally dominant, six foot one inches tall, 272 and three eighths pounds of Talia Madison trying to mount an offense, but it's having little or no effect. And Don, what an intimidation factor there is when you're talking about Awesome Kong. You see it on the face of her opponents, and we certainly saw it from Talia Madison tonight. Oh, you can see Talia Madison is scared to death in there. She's trying to fight through it, and you respect that. And she goes right after it. She's aggressive, but look at this. She just handles her like it's nothing, like she's catching a softball, and then just strikes her right down into the ground. Boy, what's Jim Cornette going to do about that fight for the right tournament? The match between Shelly and Saban ruled a no contest. Thrown out, but they're not able to continue. Not after what Team 3D did to them. And it sounds to me like both Samoa Joe and Christian Cage, they won a piece of that fight for the right and the eventual shot at the TNA World's Heavyweight Champ. And when you think back of their incredible matchup in Bound for Glory, you can see why both of them deserve that shot. But Jim Cornette's going to have to make a decision. It's awesome. I'm not sure, Mike, 